Anthony, tell us if somebody at this moment wants to enter the airline industry, um, what are the avenues? What do you recommend uh, for for uh, people who really want to be in commercial aviation? Yeah, first and foremost, uh, when I, I think uh, the individual who wants to join the airline, uh, it should not be by port, it should be by passion. I mean, if you have the passion, I think you are in the right business. If you don't, if you're not in the right passion, then it becomes difficult. For example, if I talk about myself, uh, when I was in my college or when I was looking at the airplane, just flying, so I always wanted to be working to one of the airlines in India. And uh, from my hometown, when I moved out to Mumbai, I got an opportunity to work uh, with Kingfish Airlines. I just started my career with call center because I was just a layman. I didn't know anything about aviation, zero background. I just graduated. I just entered into aviation. It felt, wow, something is nice. And then from there, I mean, because aviation is vast, it's big, it's huge. So the person, whoever wants to come into revenue management, you need to understand how aviation or how revenue management, or I would rather put not, revenue management, I would put commercial works. Because yeah. if a person knows how the commercial works, then he can either choose within the commercial team, he can go into sales. If he's good at sales, he can select if it is good. You know, I don't want to be in the field. I would rather manage the sales. Let someone else do the job for me. Let them go and get the business for me. I will manage what business I need to take and what business I can afford to lose. So that decision can be taken then, or even marketing, because these are the three critical areas in commercial where, you know, you, you want to uh, get into. But especially if you ask me about revenue management, I think number one is passion. Number two is intellectual. You need to know the numbers, right? You need to understand the different businesses, what you want and what you can let go, because that's Leaving business is also very important in revenue management. It may not be right in sales because sales job is to get whatever they can. You just bring it. That's their job. And that's, that's they're meant to be. But revenue management is to select what the salesperson has got into the company. Whether is this the right mix for me? Is it the right business for me for this month? Or, you know, I can just say, I don't want this business this month. You can come next month where I feel my flights are going to light. I don't have a problem. But... That getting into revenue management is, you know, it's more about passion and about numbers. So if you're very good, if anybody is very good in numbers, I think uh, he or she should uh, definitely look into revenue management. So, so passion I, number I mean, one, Anthony, like you said, passion number one, uh, analytical bent of mind is very important, what you mentioned as well. Yes. So and passion uh, and a passion for numbers, if you want to be in revenue management, uh, passion for the airlines and passion for sales and marketing, if you want to be on the commercial side of uh, the airline business. That's Absolutely, just because uh, advice. To be the right revenue or the 100% thorough revenue management guy, I think it's very important to know how a commercial team works, like the sales and the marketing. I mean, oh yes, for sure. If, if you really need to know how how the revenue management, I mean, you can go to the next level of revenue management only when you know how the commercial commercially it is run, like the sales, marketing, when you need to give uh, discounts or when you need to put an ad or speak to the marketing team. I mean, it's basically another thing is talk to a lot of people. I mean, within the team. And even oh, with yes. the outsiders, I mean, it's basically it's an interaction between sales, commercial sales, marketing, and revenue management. So, if you have if if that's the right thing, I think uh, uh, then the decision is on the person whether he wants to get into sales or revenue management. But especially revenue management, it's passion and number crunching and intellectual thinking. So these yeah. three things. I would I would sense. also add Anthony because you know both of us have a background from the yeah. airline. I, I would also say that within the airline, um, you have to be a very good collaborator because right. I think that, you know, you don't, don't really necessarily win a customer at the airline if you're not really in sync with other units within the airline. You know, it could be sales or revenue management or in-flight or guest experience or the whole customer journey itself. I think you have to be a good collaborator within the airline to make sure that you have the right customer, you have the right experience, you have the right price, but at the same time, the customer leaves with a feeling of being wanted 
a feeling of you know having the experience of the expectations that they had for that particular airline so i think all those attributes are very very important and Absolutely. i'm sure there are young viewers to our podcast who will take your advice and those of who are those of them who are passionate about the airline industry uh, maybe we'll you know help some of the youngsters um you know take up take up a uh, assignment within the airline industry